What's right, hey guys, welcome to part two of my series where I'll be testing player training and player growth in FIFA 16, of course, uh, here in career mode. But uh, we'll take a look at, you know, main, mostly just the squad reports going to be the entire episode, but also bring up something that came up as well with an injury. Uh, unfortunately, injuries can be quite devastating, especially when you're training the player, uh, as you'll see eventually. Of course, Milik here was the guy I looked at, and he got hurt, and some of the stats that I actually was training uh, would be really effective. Finishing, heading accuracy, of volleys had gotten up and so it was, it was kind of <laughs> it sucked a lot basically is uh what it felt like you know trading this guy like your entire season and he gets injured uh it's just a broken rib too and then fortunately you know that just affects his overall i'm thinking you know depending on the severity of the injury you know stats shouldn't go down like that just a broken rib i don't think it's going to hurt his heading and finishing for the rest of the season the rest of his career basically but uh well i digress we'll go on kenny tete he moved up to a semi so you can see again the ball control crossing where areas I focused on was able to improve in agility and sprint speed. So I think sprint speed is linked to agility because agility is all I trained. I didn't say anything about sprint speed. So I think they're intertwined. They're linked here uh, in this case, uh, at least. But, um, this is at least my opinion on it. Of course, marking is tremendous player already. Very good defensive right back. Just want to get him a little bit more offensive, add some agility to him, uh, get him a little quicker. Uh, and I'll probably continue to train that if I do train him in the next year, but I'm trying to focus on maybe some of the other, um, other players uh, in the next season we'll see here. Uh, Veltman did go up by one without training him at all. Had fairly allocated around the year with a little bit on physical stats, uh, technical and the like. But Ritterwald really went up a lot in his marking. You can see plus five, plus seven, plus seven. That is really good. And I believe he has a very high potential as well. Uh, he has 86 potential, uh, as, as I just looked at it right now. So uh, it's good to see that. Of course, he's six foot two center back, left back, and center defensive with left foot with medium mean work rates. Uh, three star, weak foot, two star skill moves. Again, um, very versatile and being able to play those variety of positions definitely can put a do a good job at left back as well but uh some other players who went up as ojix uh looks like a very promising left back but bazer oh man up four and very good growth uh you can see uh, some of the areas were really allocated around it's good to see improvement really all around uh, but uh I think it would be. It looks kind of similar to how it would maybe be if you would have just let it go through itself. But I do think uh, his growth was accelerated here because his potential is 88 as well. Uh, of course, only he was only 18 years old, I believe, at the time of this. Uh, now he's up to 79 overall, so pretty good growth. I do think you know player training definitely has an effect. It uh, really helps accelerate uh, a lot of players' growth. But uh, you'll see some other guys that went up. Gudelsh, very good center man. Um, there's unfortunately so many players to look at that I won't be uh, training him specifically. Uh, he's already a very quality player. He's over kind of the 23 years old threshold, which I'm kind of looking at, you know, kind of training in kind of that area. But uh, Klaassen went up a little bit up to an 80 as well. Uh, so, of course, there's so many good players on this team. But uh, it, it's good to be showing you know, all these different players. We're going to be seeing a variety of ways that people grow. Al Ghazi, I wish I kind of there's just so many players that would have been hard to get him in but I think I may try to test him in the next year because he does have 85 potential he grew slightly then of course Milik again uh, showing here that he did lose some of his potential. He did go up to 79 overall. Ball control dribbling is very promising, and agility still is pretty high. That's really what I worked on, ball control dribbling, agility, uh, and, of course, sprint speed. Again, it looks like it's linked to agility. Uh, that, another case where I trained mostly dribbling, uh, so agility went up. Victor Fisher, unfortunately, didn't go up too much there. I uh, can see some players going down naturally, so 32 years old looks like natural time for a center back to lose his physical stats, and, of course, again, just kind of flipping back and forth, showcasing Milik's stats just for you guys. Again, six foot one uh, left footed medium medium uh, works work rates so uh, Sonogo we're not looking at him but uh, he still grow grew a little bit uh, as I went back and forth like twice for some reason and I apologize for that but uh, continuing on Sonogo with some good growth he's of course not on our team he's with us on loan but uh, grew fairly well uh, up three points and Onana look at his growth was tremendous reflex is up to 80 uh, so yeah young goalkeepers I've seen other videos they certainly don't grow on their own but if you train them they will grow incredibly because that's plus six points uh that's very good for a goalkeeper and he's looking very solid of course just needs to improve a little bit on his handling i'll make sure to work on that a little bit i think i want to continue to work with him and see if we can get him to the even you know above 80 because so i'm not even sure what his potential is i believe it's uh, under 85 because he wasn't listed on the hidden gems list fortunately sink raven did go down so one of those cases of course injuries and the like hurt players still um sometimes to the detriment especially if you're training them yourself uh and this player right here said right the south african uh, center mid slash center defensive man really is very good he looks very solid um so 
You might want to keep an eye on some of these players. Muric uh, looks to be a decent right winger, has some really good ball control and dribbling, and he has decent pace about him, but uh, I'll probably be focusing on a few other guys, but I'll be showcasing, of course, other young players like Van de Beek. Grew up to plus four, didn't train it. I've trained him maybe like three, four times at best when some guys were injured, but that's about it. Uh, I think I want to work on his agility a little bit and his stamina, but uh, other than that, you know, he looks to be very solid. Nuri, uh, good growth up to a 69 overall. Of course, uh, another guy I think I... I trained him like once or twice as well, so I was very much on its own for the most part. His growth here, Cerny, um, I don't believe I trained him at all on my own. So, uh, ball control, dribbling, pretty pretty solid growth from him. Of course, he's another guy who's a wonder kid. I believe he has 86 potential. Because of that, I am thinking about you know testing him because he has that kind of big gap. Uh, between his uh, overall potential, we kind of want to would like to get him up there as soon as possible, so I don't have to be you know simming too much and the like. But uh, Younes, another promising player there at left winger. Uh, then we have some other guys. We're coming down the list, but uh, you know I'm really intrigued. I'll you know list some more of my thoughts down below in the comment section really about how I'm feeling about player training uh, again I think you know agility and sprint speed are linked so if you want to increase sprint speed it looks like training agility is the way to go guys so uh, I'll be you know listing that in the comment section below so definitely you know pay attention to that if you I know some people are worried about physicals not growing at all, at all but you can improve stamina on your own sprint speed and agility on your own I'm pretty sure so uh uh, I mean of course I'm sure about agility but sprint speed is linked as well so uh that is a good place to look at so if you want to improve a guy's sprint speed, just train his agility is what it's really looking at at the moment. Again, guys, but uh, Zivkovic out on loan, grew up plus four, so pretty good growth from him uh, despite, you know, not doing any player training. So that's pretty pretty good, but uh, we're we'll going to be wrapping this up now in a bit. It looks like uh, in other players here who looked pretty solid, Frankie de Jong, but, uh, you know, I'll be having episode two up as quickly as possible because I really want to get these video out for, videos out for you guys because I know everybody is, you know, very interested in, you know, player training, career mode, and the like, so definitely want to put it out at ASAP, but uh, really, thanks guys for tuning in. I hope you've learned a lot from these, just this first two videos, of course, just one year in full. I'll be going from year increments from now on. I'm not not sure if I'm be training every year. Maybe next two years, and I'll just sim it by itself, uh, and we'll see what happens from there. But it just kind of depends on how players grow on and the like. Um, in some of our some of the players that will be growing with the training feature, but uh, because I do plan to use these these tests essentially to turn them into player uh, player reviews is kind of the plan for this here. So, but thanks guys for tuning in. I uh, appreciate all your support. I'll be signing out now, guys, and I'll catch you guys later.